I've decided to do a series on why you're still single. Kingdom men are men who have a relationship with God, men who are serving God, and good men are just like good men in general. They don't necessarily have to have a relationship with God, but they're just good people. We all have a calling, we all have a purpose, and if you marry wrong, your purpose or your calling will be affected. The reason why my relationships never worked in the first place was because my calling was not in line with the people that I was dating. Regardless of whatever you've experienced in your life, do not allow that pain and your experience reduce your standard and compromise when it comes to kingdom men. You can find a good man that has everything that you need in a man, but if this man is not a man that has a relationship with God, is he really worth it? Trust me, kingdom men exist. welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing okay and everything is well with you i'm doing well by god's grace if you're new here hey welcome to my channel my name is sergine and my channel is about motivating people becoming the best version of themselves so please subscribe like share and follow me on my instagram so we can keep in contact and you know just talk when i'm not posting anything on youtube because i actually love talking to you guys on my instagram about anything and everything and i feel like on instagram you get to see my activities and we get to catch up more so yeah follow me on there so we can keep in contact to my subscribers hey guys i hope you guys are doing okay i'm so so happy that i'm back to filming content again literally i feel like i've just been vlogging and not actually sitting down and talking to you guys so i'm missed it this week we're back with our relationship series because you know what i had filmed relationship series content before um Bay proposed so it was like those content had to come out and i've just been so busy and tired and i've not been able to actually sit down and film so we're back and i'm feeling excited anyway if you want to know what this week's topic is on why you're still single then stay tuned so let's go so i read something on the internet that talked about kingdom men versus good men <laughs> and the way i can simply explain it is that kingdom men are like you know men who have a relationship with god men who are serving god and good men are just like good men in general they don't necessarily have to have a relationship with god but they're just good people and that got me to think and i was analyzing myself and the guys that i've dated in the past and i was just thinking Do you know what some of these guys that i've dated in the past are not bad people at all they're amazing people you know they treated me well you know obviously i had some relationships that were rubbish but i've also experienced relationships where guys have treated me well like a queen they were amazing people but they were not really kingdom men and the reason why i say that it's not because i'm just trying to you know be spiritual here i just feel like sometimes that we all have a purpose not even sometimes as children of god anyway i'm talking to my christian and um, people we all have a calling we all have a purpose and if you marry wrong, your purpose or your calling will be affected. And to be quite honest with you, um, when I met my fiancé, oh, it feels really... <laughs> if it was weird to call him my fiance but anyways when i met him i was not excited about being in a relationship with him and to be quite honest with you in the beginning i kind of felt like um some of my past relationships or some of the guys that i dated in the past were better to deal with in comparison to him what i'm trying to say is that it doesn't mean that if you meet your destiny partner that the relationship is going to be necessarily easy because good men are also good they treat you right they do everything a woman desires in a man but the thing is do you really want to be with a good man or do you want to be with a kingdom man especially if you're a christian and i think for me honestly with my life experiences i sort of you know i always 
say this, I reduced my standards. Like my standard was just from a year. It was down here. I compromised a lot of myself because I just kind of felt like my standards were unrealistic because I was thinking in the very beginning, I was thinking I'm going to need a guy that has a relationship with God, that prays and all that stuff. And I realized, oh my God, there's actually no many guys that have a relationship with God like that. So personally for me, I was just like, you know what? I don't care. I just need to date someone who knows God, who believes in God. Like, it doesn't matter if they've got, a, you know, a personal relationship with God or not. Honestly, I did not care anymore. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just being real. My mom was never happy with that idea because my mom knew my calling and my purpose way before I knew about it. My mom was pregnant for me and she fasted for nine months straight. Imagine a pregnant woman fasting for nine months praying and she didn't even know what she was praying for so my mom has always reminded me that you have a calling god's calling is on you you have a greater purpose you can't just afford to live like anybody else but because of the experiences that i went through i was just like you know what i'm not gonna waste my time waiting for a guy that's gonna come along that's gonna have a you know a personal relationship with god that's not gonna happen i just need someone who believes in god right so my standard kind of like reduced and to be quite honest with you when I came out of my past relationship, I quickly realized that if I just settled for any kind of guy, it was not going to work because I had a purpose. And I feel like, no, I felt like at the time that the reason why my relationships never worked in the first place was because my calling was not in line with the people that I was dating. You have to remember that God has created someone out there for you. And the thing is, God has placed, you know, um, skills and things inside that person that's going to align with your destiny, that's going to help you in your destiny. Now, if you just marry a good man because he's treating you well, because he's nice, because he treats you like a queen, that's not enough because it could mean that you would have to now compromise on your calling you have to compromise on your destiny that's not what we want because you want to live your life in the fullest so let me tell you a little story right so when I met my fiance um honestly I'm gonna keep it 100 with you like I was not happy with the work that I had to put in in that relationship because from the very beginning I realized that there was a lot of work to be done and like I said I was comparing him with like my exes and I was just thinking oh my gosh I've dated people that are more settled that are more mature I was just giving myself all these reasons to discourage myself to put in the work that I needed to put in in my relationship this is me keeping a 100 and I spoke to my mom so many times because my mom is the one that told me that my fiance is my husband because she's never said that to me my past relationship she's always asked me have you prayed and this relationship was the first one that you know she said to me this is your husband so sometimes I'll go back to her because she's a prayerful woman and I knew that what she was saying was not rubbish so I'd always go to her mom are you sure because I was just looking at the amount of work that I needed to do in this relationship and I was like god I cannot do it I cannot do it I'm not like I don't have the strength like after experiencing all these things that I've experienced now god is giving me someone that you know has to make me work hard and you know like he's white and i'm black and it wasn't just about him as a person it was also about cultures i was just looking at everything i was like god i can't do it and that's the thing sometimes you look at someone that comes into your life and you think oh this is going to be hard work you give up on them and you go and settle for something that's going to be easier to deal with that does not mean that that relationship is going to work because it's all about being in a relationship with someone who is yours, someone that is aligned to your destiny. Anyways, I remember like this is in the very, very beginning of our relationship. We had one issue. I don't want to go deep into the issue, but we had one issue that really, really upset me. And I literally told him, I said, dude, I cannot do this with you. I don't think I'm, <laughs> I'm able to deal with you. I don't think I'm able to, to compromise with you. I just like that day, everything just seemed so impossible. I was like, I can't do this. I don't think I have it in me to put in this kind of work like I, I just I was just like no I can't do it and I kind of like told him it was over you know I was like I don't think I can do it and he was more advanced <laughs> and he was like no God has told us that he has brought us together God brought us together for a purpose we need to fight for this the enemy doesn't want us to be together he was really trying to convince me I was not having it girls I was not having it I was like no 
I cannot do this with you. I am done. I am tired. I've known you barely for like a three months and I already feel like I'm doing so much work. I was like, no, it's not going to happen. And as we're having this back and forth argument, he was like, you know what? Um, I'm not actually going to try and convince you anymore. I'm just going to pray. If you're going to join me, cool. If you're not going to join me, cool. I was really upset this day and I was just crying. And he started praying, you know. He was praying, praying, praying. He was praying in tongues. He was praying, he was praying. And I was just sitting there like crying because I was like, I'm done. You're just wasting your time. I don't want to do this. But he kept praying. And guys, after a while, when he was praying, I just felt a strength that came inside of me that I did not understand where it came from. I just joined him in prayer. And as I joined him in prayer, I just heard in my spirit that we were one. And honestly speaking, this day changed everything because I realized that a man that can go to God and pray in times of trouble, a man that knows that when I can no longer convince this crazy woman, I need to go back to her maker and speak to him is worth keeping. And honestly, I have never experienced this before in my whole life. I've gone through stuff in my past with my exes where we've prayed together, but I've always had to be the one that's going to start the prayer. I've always had to be the one that's going to encourage the prayer. So it was almost like I was the one that was more in connection with God. So for the first time, I was like, wow, this is different. And to be quite honest with you, from that point on, I knew that he was the one for me. I knew that if we were to go through any struggle, God would be our go-to. We'll have to go to God together. And since then, obviously, a lot of things have happened. God has spoken. God has confirmed that relationship. But what I can say about my relationship with Bay is that our destinies are really the reason why we're together because he adds something in my life when it comes to my calling and my destiny and I also add something in his life when it comes to his calling and destiny so our destinies are like aligned with each other and we're always like encouraging each other in the right direction so that got me to actually think you know what this relationship made me work harder than my past relationships, but it's worth it because when it's about your destiny, when it's about your, your, your calling, when it's about your legacy, that's, that's all we live for. Like, what is the point of you living this life and not actually operating in the capacity that God has called you for? What's the point of marrying somebody that's not going to help you in your destiny? What's the point of all of that? That got me to actually come on here and encourage you. Listen, regardless of whatever you've experienced in your life do not allow that pain and your experience reduce your standard and compromise when it comes to kingdom men you can find a good man that has everything that you need in a man but if this man is not a kingdom man if this man is not a man that has a relationship with god is he really worth it and today's video is going to be a bit different because i'm targeting christians but i feel like it's important for you to spend your time asking God to show you your destiny, asking God to reveal your calling, asking God to reveal your purpose. When you know what your purpose is, then you need to pray and ask God to send your destiny partner, someone who's going to lift you up, somebody who's going to carry you, somebody that's going to help you in your destiny. Because you know what, like for me, for example, I can give you an example of one thing that I do, which is, you know, um, singing, worshiping. And I remember I was invited to minister somewhere and Bay came with me and as I was ministering I looked at him in the audience he was literally interceding on my behalf he was praying because sometimes when you know you're doing something or you're 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 doing your calling or you're busy doing whatever you need to do you need someone that's going to lift you up you need someone that's going to pray for you you need someone that's going to intercede on your behalf and honestly that touched me because I was like I've never experienced this before and he didn't have to do it he didn't have to pray he could have just you know joined everybody else and enjoyed the whole you know the the, the praise and worship and the songs but he wasn't there he wanted to make sure that i was okay he wanted to make sure that you know i was spiritually strong he wanted to make sure that i had everything that i needed to have with me and another thing with this is that i'm always gone i'm always traveling i'm always working with men i'm always do you know what i mean like, there's a lot of things in my life right now that requires a man who understands my calling you need a man who understands your calling and understands your purpose because when they understand it they are going to support you with everything that they have because honestly if they 
don't understand or support your purpose, there's going to be a lot of back and forth. There's going to be a lot of clashes and you're not going to be able to actually operate properly. For example, who wants to go and minister somewhere and then thinking that, oh my gosh, my man is at home, not supporting me. He's at home worrying about who's going to play for me, what guy I'm talking to. Nobody wants that. You want someone who, when you're doing everything that you're supposed to do, when you're in your purpose, someone who's understanding you, someone who's supporting you, generally supporting you, and someone who's praying for you. So today's video is going to be a bit different. I wanted to come on here and just encourage you to not settle for a good man. You need to settle for kingdom men. Honestly, it makes a difference and you might actually have to work harder. And I'm not saying, like I'm repeating, I'm not saying that it's going to be easier because this man has a personal relationship with God. That's not what I'm saying. It's going to be worth it though, because you might put in a lot of work with a kingdom man than you put in a good man. However, a kingdom man is going to be someone who's going to understand your calling, your purpose and support you. So what am I saying? I'm saying that you're single because you have compromised your standard about being with a kingdom man and be with a good man because you're just like, you know what? I'm never going to find them. They're nowhere to be found. Trust me. Trust me. Kingdom men exist. Okay. And even though, you know, it might take time, this time is for you to work on yourself, to improve yourself. I always repeat this to become the best version that you can be while you're waiting for this kingdom man. Don't settle and just find a good man because you feel like kingdom men are nowhere to be found. They're definitely somewhere. God is working on them just like He's working on you. So I just wanted to encourage you this week to not give up. Don't tell yourself that you're not going to find a godly man because trust me, the there's a man out there for you. There's a man that God has created for you. Just focus on becoming the best version of yourself and focus on you while God is molding and building that kingdom man that's going to come your way. And remember, it might not be easy, but it's worth it because I'm actually sure that some of us have experienced that. I'm sure some of you have had to end a relationship because the guy was not really feeling God like that. The guy was not really feeling you going to church. He was not really feeling you praying or going to, um, to midweek service and you just had to give up because you felt like oh my god like I'm not sure who I'm with you know so don't make the same mistake focus on you and trust God to send that kingdom man your way anyways guys I'm gonna end this video here this year is still our year of shining so I pray that we're gonna shine in every area of our lives I'm gonna sign up for now but remember to subscribe remember to like and remember to share and follow me on my Instagram so we can keep in contact look after yourself for now and I will see you in my next video Mwah. bye